to the madness. All right, folks, how's it going? Denise Deffy and welcome to Call of Duty World at War. Now, I'll tell you something, it's been a good few years since the last scene is menu, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, the Call of Duty series, man. Some people like it, some people dislike it, some people love it, some people hate it. For me, I was a lover. <laughs> yeah, I used to really enjoy this series when I was a lot younger. And um, oddly enough though, my golden age was around World of War actually, it was from 2007 to 2013 or so, which was roughly translated to Modern Warfare to Ghosts, I think. And then after that, my love affair started to decline a little bit before I stopped after about Black Ops 4, so I just grow tired of the game and I grow tired of the multiplayer really. So yeah, so, we're playing World at War, um, I promised a friend of mine that I would play this game and finally get around to it, eh? Say that much. Okay, so, this game is set in World War 2. So yeah, it's a World War 2 shooter, it's a good old classic World War 2 shooter to be fair with you. So in terms of the actual story, there's nothing really to admit, really. So I'll keep quiet, but the actual campaign focuses on two different soldiers, a American and a Russian. Uh, the American is focusing on the Pacific War, which is Japan against America, or America against Japan. Uh, Russia was roughly around the, uh, the Russian front, with uh, the fall of which the Battle of Stalingrad, if I remember right, 1941, I think it was. So we'll be focusing on that as well, and then finally the infamous, oh sorry, not infamous, the famous beach landing of um, June 6th, 1944, for the European section of the war as well, so that's kind of cool. Right, well, obviously there's nothing really much to talk about, just want to get straight into it, but I will say a viewer disclaimer. There is a lot of violence, so a lot of blood and a lot of gore, so if you're not squeamish, cool. If you are, then, you know, viewer discretion, yada yada. Um, also, there is going to be some symbolism of a certain insignia of a certain um, national party of Germany. I'm not going to mention the name because of YouTube TOS, nor am I going to announce the name of the insignia, so there's some of that as well. So, yeah, pretty much just the usual things that you would see in World War II. Right, well, anyway, let's not mess around, let's get straight into it. So, ladies and gentlemen, please pull up a chair, get yourself comfortable, and let's play some World of War. This should be fun. This should be fun. I've been looking forward right, to it. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Had a little technical glitch at the last second, me earphones fell out. Right, okay, anyway, here we go then. So, solo, you're gonna go new game. Yep, alright, because I was doing a test file. Now, we have four difficulties we have recruits, regular, hard, and veteran. This is easy, normal, hard, and very hard. We're gonna do the channel standard, which is normal gameplay. Right, okay, so without further ado, here we go. And by the way, this is my second time recording this. Members of the Senate, of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Yep, that's the American that we we're going to be playing as, Private Miller. Yep, Private Miller. Japanese occupied territories. Make an atoll. Little more than sand, trees, and a small Japanese military base. Miller's reconnaissance team landed there almost a week ago. Since then, we've heard nothing. The waiting's over. We're going in. For all we know, they're already dead. 
If what little we know about the Japanese is true, it might be better if they are. Yep, here we go. I'll get the face cam on when we're in action. Sympathy. Make an atoll, South Pacific, August 17, 1942, Private Miller, missing in action, 2nd Marine Raider Battalion, Carlson's Raiders. You think because you say nothing. You are strong? Samawa Tsiokumai. Gojo na yatsume. Don't tell him a fucking thing. Deheido ma mino ko na ka? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm joking when I said there was violence. <laughs> Go to hell. Miller, you're okay. Thank God. We're gonna make them pay for what they've done. Fuckers! Mm-hmm. All right, let's ride. Grab a rifle. We're gonna tear this place apart. Okay, Nambu pistol. Robot. We got a Type 100 team. SMG. There we go. Perfect. I will switch to the good old American M1 Garand. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. My aiming is not the best. No, not fire. Okay, is my controls left up here? I think they are. Yeah, my controls are left up. Give me one second. Oh, no, 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 no. Not restart game. I was messing around with the controls earlier. Because the reason why my... You've got controls. Uh, combat. Yeah. That needs to be left and that needs to be... No, that doesn't need to be anything. There we go. Yeah, the reason why... Um, I was changing my controls because the first time I was recording, I was using shift to sprint. And the shift button's right next to one of my uh, USB slots is. And the connection was getting like pressed on. on the. I, I don't know, I must have been like rocking the connection a little bit. And basically it was cutting out the mouse and it was cutting out my base cam because I have my base cam, mouse and some of one other device. Um, all connected in this like multi-port, USB multi-port thing. So it was cutting both of them out, so yeah. I do not see where everyone is. Nope, it's probably Denny. Alright, let's keep moving. So yeah, so really yeah, my aim is gonna be really bad from time to time, and as well my eyes. So there might be one guy staring right in front of me, and I won't know until the fire. So yeah, I'm getting old. I don't have my old Call of Duty skills. <laughs> I really don't. So anyway, yeah, so basically my commentary is going to be a little reactionary, but at the same time I can spew a little stuff because I'm a little bit of a history buff to some degree. I mean, my World War II knowledge is starting to avail me a little bit. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so the M1 Garand, one of the most infamous, why do I say infamous? Come on, he's not dead. Or is he? Actually, he is. No, I'm supposed to save him! Uh, so yes. Oh god, we're getting hit. I know, I know, let me back up and get some cover. Fine, it's fine. So, uh, yeah, the M1 Garand. Um, uses the 30 or 6 rifle round, which I think is the... I think the 7.62 is the modernized version of it. And the M1 Garand was brought to construction, I think, in 1939, I believe, by a Canadian called John Garand, I think. And I think, what was it? Was it General Patterson that said it was the, uh, the greatest battle instrument ever devised or something like that? Oh, do you know what? I really wanted this. Yeah, the bar. Browning automatic rifle. Fires the same rifle rifle round as the M1 Grand, but at a fully automatic rate of fire. About what was it? Was it like 300 RPM, something like that? I know it fired really slowly. Yeah, no worries. 
that's no problem. No problem. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna be playing this kinda casually to some degree. Okay, let's get the grenade out. I've gotta remember not to hit the shift button at all. So basically I just put the shift. Basically, I put the shift button to E instead of shift. So yeah, so the Type 100, Japanese SMG. Um, I don't know too much about this weapon, actually. I know a bit of it. I know that it was very badly constructed. But I don't remember the rifle round it fired. Anyway, let's switch to the Annihilator, or the Thompson. Mm-hmm. The M19... I don't remember where it was. Was it the M1937 Thompson? I know it was um, created in 19... I think it's like 1916, I think? Good work, Marines. Keep it up. Wall will hit the beach just yeah, ahead. 1916, because um, this was designed for World War One with the trench warfare. Um, but, unfortunately, I think it came too late in the war, or there wasn't enough, like not time to make a lot, but basically it fell in the hands of um, law enforcement and gangsters as well. What the hell is this? Check it out. Looks mm -hmm. like a temple or some shit. Okay, slice ready. Um, nice. There's a lot of bonsai going on. Okay, um, I lost all my commentary then. <laughs> Hostile content, what I was going to say then. Yeah, but um, afterwards, um, the US military did buy a good number of them from its designer and basically changed it from a 60 round drum mag to a 20 round box mag and got rid of some of the design features, such as you know where the left hand is? Um, that was actually a foregrip that got rid of it and instead just tuned it to a wooden. Wooden barrel cover? I don't know what you would call it. But basically, it fires the 45 ACP rifle. Really hard hitting rifle. Honestly. I like the Sonja. I really do. Tommy gone. So yeah, we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of weapons. I do prefer automatics though over semi and single shot, really. Take the need in. So yeah, so for the most part, it's not a challenging game, but at the same time, it's a straightforward enough, you know? Dead, dead. Nice, and he gets a mammal anyway, to be fair. It's a mammal without shooting our boys. Okay then, if we come across an Arisaka, I'll change to it. Well, just like I said, there it is. Yep, the Type 98 Arisaka, I think, or is it 94? It's one of the two. Really, really, really nice rifle, Listen in my up. opinion. I'll have to look at it. Rest of this quick and clean. Although, to be honest, I do prefer the German R98K, Carabiner 98K, from Mauser. I'm telling you, I am a bit of a gun nut. I am a gun nut when it comes to World War II weaponry. <laughs> what the hell? Who took these guys out? Yeah, that's true. Find out if another unit came in ahead of so if it tells me we better get ready. Yep. Ambush, move, move. White light. Yeah, the rate of fire isn't the best in all fairness. Let's get a grenade. Is that my grenade? What do you hope not? Oh, that's a lot of watch. Here we go. Yeah, you only get five rounds in the uh, the Eternal magazine. So we gotta make him count. Missing anybody else? Come on, then you go. I'll tell you one thing: the the rate of fire is actually quite generous. I played some World War Two shooters where the um, the rate of fire for the ball action rifles were. A lot slower than this. I think um, Enemy Front is one of them, I believe. Do you know what? I need to play that game, Enemy Front. It's been... I've not played it in a good few years. 
Uh, but I remember having a lot of fun with it. That's what we want. The bayonet. Let's see if we can stab someone. Nope. Yeah, I don't want to take risks like that, otherwise we'll die. Shit, 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 shit. Run, 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 run. Do not want to get shot. Don't want to get blown up by grenades. I have heard that veteran is really bad for this game because of the amount of grenades. Right, okay, so do I, folks. It's happened again. Yeah, it happened again. Don't know what causes it. I really don't know what causes it at all. But, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I've moved my laptop into a bit of a different position, so it shouldn't easily, like... It's hard to explain. Well, dude. Alright, so... Let's set things on fire. Cool. Now let's get ready with the Molotov. Go, go, go! Okay, let's move. And yet again, my commentary as off again. <laughs> Honestly. Oh man. I blame the war for this. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, see, it's like a shitload of grenades and stuff. Honestly. See what I mean? There's just a crap load of grenades. It's absolutely ridiculous. Man, I don't remember World War being this nuts. Robot, start the truck! Miller, use your knife and put a hole in that barrel. Yep, we'll do. We'll do. So yeah, there's a lot of grenades. So what does any good soldier do? We return it in kind. Go, go, go! See <laughs> <Is he> flying. <laughs> Uh, one person. Only fire. Don't know why I'm using the air cycle. Let's go to the table launcher. It's a little bit more effective, in all fairness. As I mentioned, I'm doing a little bit of burst firing as well. Serve ammo. 18 accuracy. Volume fire is not affected that much. Okay, let's move to the objective. Get back here. Oof. <laughs> Thanks for the cover phone. Shit. Go on then, do it. Right, so we're planting them. All right, no worries then. Okay, anything here we can use? Oh, really? All right, let's play explosives. It's there. All right, let's go. All right, hopefully with this uh, new position, the game ain't going to not the game, but my mouse and face cam ain't gonna ain't gonna f up. And we got sliced. There we go. Okay. So we've got two trip rappy. Okay, we're leaving! Everyone keep down! You're gonna be okay, just hang in there. No worries. Yep, there we go, Frosty. Fireworks. Tell me those charges weren't duds. They better not be. I want something. Hmm. I swore in the PS3 the rate of fire of the Nambu was a lot higher. Great, right, awesome. There we go. First mission down. First mission down. Awesome. Years after the raid on Macon, we're heading up an all out assault on Peleliu Island. No POWs to rescue this time. Our mission take the airfield and cripple their supply network. Alongside familiar faces, fresh-faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself. We're known as the old breed. Old. We're not even out of our 20s. <laughs> That's how I fucking feel. <laughs> okay, so, regarding the actual missions, um... Okay, Little Resistance. September 5th, 1944, White Beach. Hallelujah. Private Miller. First Marine Division. All of you. 
This is it, Miller. Okay, keep it together and we'll get through this in three days. Oh, is this the day? No, it's not. There they go. Faster than they can. Yeah, said uh, Omaha Beach, I think it is. Navy's been bombing the hell out of the island for two days straight. Miller, we hit any resistance on the beach? You get on that radio and call for immediate missile support. Don't think twice. Roma, I want you up the beach and at that tree line ASAP. You're on point as we move in like got it. What the hell? Is that one of ours? East Ridge, there's a 200 millimeter on the point. Stay with it, Marie. Another keep in head. Everyone, keep your heads down. You hear me? Yes, sir. Seconds. <laughs> so I just want to check to see if my face comes off of this. Just want to double check, make sure everything's fine. Hang in there, kid. You need to get off this thing. Well, let me know in the comments below. Do you want the face cam off for a pure, like, immersive feel? Or do you want the... Good night. Yeah, do you want the face cam on or off? Let me know. I mean, I'll put it back on just for this episode, but if you want the future episodes without it, let me know in the comments below if you want to be more immersive. I do not mind, actually. I got you, Miller. You're still in one piece. Plan's gone to shit. Tojo's got a defensive line dug in just beyond the tree line. Heavy fire, up the beach. All right, here we go then. Okay, so six to do a rocket strike on Japanese defense base. Well. Well, we'll do. That's a nineteen eleven. This fire works. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's go then. Where's the fire coming from? Don't let him get a fix on you. Move, move. Okay, rocket strikes can be used. I wasn't supposed to be in here. Rocket strikes here, soften them up. We're keeping for emergencies. Guess we're supposed to. Ready? Yep. Over. Okay, here we go then. Well, I'll just let him die at the wrong correlation. Oh, this should be fun. Fix bayonets! <laughs> Use them if you have to! Fix bayonets! Ooh, yep, Tight 99. Thank you. I'll take that. Tight 99, the light support weapon for the Japanese infantry. I think it was. Where? I can post. Where? I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's go then. Yeah, based on the British Bren, I think? Yeah, because I believe shortly with World War II, another front that I don't have much experience on or knowledge, I pardon me if there's any viewers with ancestors, is the Burma invasion with uh, Japan, I believe. Um, I only know certain elements of that through uh, the Bridge of the River Kwai, for example. So, I know the British was involved in that, so I'd imagine the Type 99 was based on the British Bren thing. So anyway, that's what I meant to mention at the beginning of the mission. So, these episodes, I'm not going to do a episode by episode, uh, sorry, a mission an episode. I will just do as much as I can within the 40 minutes I can give myself and then what I'll do is I'll complete the mission and then yeah I'll complete the mission and then I'll end the episode that's what I'll do so the, the, the 40 minutes is there for a guideline that was it really what am I supposed to do? This is the Japanese defenses I guess We know we're killing them. Okay, I guess we're just moving forward. Shit. <laughs> how did you not die from the... Uh... Yeah, I was going to say, how the hell did you not die from that grenade then? 
<laughs> Not today, sunshine. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit. Yeah, see what I mean? Grenades, man. Grenades. In my bane. Thank you, Jesus. Got a good bit of ammo left. Okay, do we switch this back up? No, I don't need to. We'll keep using the M1. Not to mention that ping is so satisfying. Well, not this time because we're reloading. It's actually quicker just to MTD. Ooh, quick time. I forgot the quick time events. <laughs> I, okay, okay, okay. Let me rewind for a second, right? Let me rewind for a second. So, what I thought was going to happen was I thought I was going to die for a grenade. But I guess the quick time event saved me from dying from the grenade. Okay. <laughs> wow. Only on this channel, folks. Only on this channel you'll see bullshittery like that. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Take him down. Yeah, it's a sniper. Good shot, Miller. Yeah, the Japanese use trees to sniper nests. Okay, how do we find good for ammo? Yep, good for ammo. Another gun. Another. Another banzai. Let's reload what we can. Fine, let's be having it. We're done. Thank you. Everyone, right, keep keep moving. moving. <laughs> I believe Banzai is Japanese for. What was it now? Was it Glory or something? Or Body Emperor? I think it is. I remember reading something like that or some of that. Okay, let's keep our head down because we're getting shot from that MG on the west. Sure. The first is first. Let me get a grenade over there. Man. <laughs> you gotta have reflexes in this game, you really do. Okay, come on now. Jesus, that's long. I know motor strikes that can. I believe the people will look quicker than this. Oh, come on, really? That's it, Nick. Don't call it. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Right, so it's just loading up the ammo. All right. There you go. As well. Well done. Yeah, I guess it's just a reload. Makes sense. I am out of ammo. Oh, not. Never mind. I still switch to the. Uh, yeah, switch to the Arisaka. So we got a little bit of ammo. For me, shots carry it possible. Also, if you're wondering, this game has a regen, uh, regenerative health system. So basically, the redder you are, the closer you are to death. But if you just back up a while, for, if you just back up for a few seconds, then if you back up for a few seconds, as I mentioned, you'll get back up to full health, no problem. Lynch. That can also happen as well. All right, let's keep moving it. Let's get the jump on these bastards. Let's go. I didn't realize it was supposed to come this way. It's fine though. Using the air sucker. Yeah, I have a feeling my commentary is going to be a little stale this series. I think. I can only react on what I see, to be fair. Mm, okay, what else do we know? What else? 
So in terms of the Pacific campaign myself, I don't know much about... I don't really know much about the Pacific campaign. I only know that the battle for Iwo Jima, I believe it's called, I know that was the bloodiest battle in the Pacific, I think. Eliminate Japanese in and around the motor port. Motor pit. Alright, I guess we are going this way? Right, up the ladder we go then, sure. As long as no one fucking jumps me, that's all that matters. Nope, seem clear. Let's use the MGs. I'll do. Yes, pass. Grenade. Alright, let's get the rockets ready. Okay, so we got to destroy the tanks next. Okay, because the next set of rockets. That's some bazookas. Or Panzer Shreks. Then I would be joining in, but. What's well, so I'm going to rely on the rocket salvo. Good man. Let's do this. Because for some reason our own tank can't <laughs> penetrate the armor. I don't understand. Fucking standing. <laughs> Everyone on me. Everybody see you. Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm out, good. Sarge. Secure the surrounding area. Wait for the major's orders. When do we rest? Soon, Pulaski. Soon. <laughs> Uh oh. Sullivan, no, hold on, you're gonna be okay. Corman! Nah, he's done, so. He's done. We're all numb by Sullivan's death. We just never saw it coming. I still can't believe it. Most solid, dependable, and courageous Marine we've ever known. Blink of an eye. Gone. Now it's down to me. Ooh. And me alone. To lead these men, my brothers, safely through this campaign. AA fire from Peleliu Airfield is knocking our planes right out of the sky. Taking this airfield is our only priority. Whatever the cost. They can remember this airfield, actually. This airfield. Yeah. Hard landing. September 15th, 1944. Airfield. Body back to the state. I thought Sullivan would make it through for sure. We let our guard down, Polanski. We can't let it happen again. So, what now? Tojo's got a tight hold on pretty much everything to the west. Direct mm -hmm. route runs right into the Japanese guns. We take the flank. It might get us wet, but it's not going to get us killed. We regroup with the fifth when we're through the swamp. Yep. Stay okay. sharp. I can't talk. Can I talk finally? Yeah, okay, so yeah, I was trying to read that out, but there was dialogue, so yeah, I think I'll keep my mouth shut for them. I, honestly, like I said, I don't remember everything when it comes to this campaign. Like, obviously, the, the cues to speak and stuff. So yeah. Right, well, anyway, I just checked the time. I've got about five minutes or so left, so I might as well just end it here instead of, like, another, like, 20 minutes onto the timer, or 20 minutes onto the episode or whatever. Cool, then. Right, so yeah, I apologize for the cuts. Um... Obviously my, I don't know what the fuck was going on with my USB devices, absolutely no idea, hopefully it didn't take away from the episode. So yeah, awesome, right, say, so yeah. Brand new series, brand new campaign, so like I said, should be a fun one, should be a fun one. But like I mentioned, the commenting might be a little bit stale, so what I'll do is I'll probably do a little bit of information gathering between episodes just for some random fact drops or something. I don't know, make it a little bit more interesting than just pure action and just shooting and make it a little bit more... Memorable, I guess. I don't know. Right, well, anyway, folks, so that's gonna be it for today's episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day and hope to see you next time. Take care.